How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we look at some terrifying photos that are sure to send shivers down your spine. But as always, before we get into it, hit that subscribe button for more creepy content just like this. Reddit is a popular site for sharing and discussing paranormal photos. This bizarre and creepy photo was submitted to Reddit in 2016. The Reddit user who uploaded the photo states that it was taken by his girlfriend during a trip to the Rocky Mountains in Colorado, using an iPhone. What at first appears to be a completely normal photo of the Reddit user's father is actually much more disturbing on second glance. A few feet behind the man in the foreground of the photo, there appears to be a young boy crouching in the grass. His features are unclear, but he seems to be watching the person taking the photo, staring directly into the lens. The Reddit user who uploaded the photo insists that there was no one else around when the photo was taken. Because of the solitary setting, they certainly would have noticed if a child had been wandering around. The user's girlfriend stated that she definitely didn't see the boy there when she took the photo. What's even creepier is that the user noticed that the photo was actually an Apple Live photo so it captured some movement. In the short burst, you can actually see the ghostly boy moving through the grass. It looks as though it takes a few steps. The user's father was so disturbed by the photo that he returned to the location and took comparison photos of the surrounding area to try and make sense of it all. You can see by the photo on the left that the grass doesn't appear to be that long which means it's as though the figure is only half there, walking through the relatively short grass. So did this Reddit user inadvertently capture a ghost on camera? What could explain the figure's height and movement through the grass? Love to get your opinions on this one in the comments section below. Hey peeps, just a quick interlude to let you know today's episode's powered by Raid Shadow Legends on mobile. For those of you who don't know, Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new collection RPG game that's taking the mobile gaming landscape by storm. More than 10 million players have enjoyed the game in less than 6 months, and that's probably because it's absolutely free to download. You can collect over 400 champions, gather orcs, undead knights, elves and more. Just check out the details on these champions. We've mentioned this game before in the past, but it's growing so fast the devs have released an amazing roadmap. So there's almost an infinite amount of content for you to enjoy. There's a new faction coming, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss that you'll be able to fight with your clan mates. Oh, and it's got a near perfect score in the App Store. So what are you waiting for? Download the game now, it's absolutely free. Use my special link in the description box below and you'll get 50,000 silver, plus a free epic champion, part of the new player program. So download the game now and get involved. The two young women in this photo were out for a night on the town when they snapped this photo posed with the chef at the restaurant where they were dining. Their happy faces indicate that they had no idea that a fourth figure apparently decided to photobomb them. In between the chef and the girl in the green shirt, there appears to be the blurry face of a ghostly photobomber. The features on the ghost's face are not entirely clear, but the one thing that we can clearly see are its large, dark eyes that appear almost as voids in the spirit's face. The head seems to trail off and it doesn't appear to be attached to a body. Who could this terrifying spirit be? There are certain types of ghosts that appear regularly in paranormal photos. The apparent consistency in these manifestations is something even the most hardened skeptics have a difficult time explaining. One type of spirit that has made appearances all over the world is the White Lady. These spirits manifest as a mysterious woman wearing all white. They often appear melancholy and come with tragic backstories. This photo of a woman in white was taken in Kramer, Pennsylvania in 1977, outside of a home undergoing construction work. In the photo, we can see a tall, slender figure in a baggy hooded garment walking past the house. According to the worker who snapped the photo, he was surprised to see the figure, 
as all of the other workmen working on the job were accounted for in the photo. He was unable to explain who or what the figure in the photo was. Many skeptics dismiss this photo as merely some sheeting draped over one of the ladders. However, believers point to the fact that the sheet seems to be hovering in mid-air, and that the photographer insists that there was no such shape in the foreground when the photo was taken. Old hospitals are a common location for ghost hunters to ply their trade. In the days of old, it wasn't unusual for hospitals to mistreat their patients and it's alleged that the spirits of these poor souls sometimes stay behind because of the pain they experienced in life. Old asylums are haunting places, as treatments for mental disorders were particularly barbaric in past centuries. A group of paranormal investigators called Utah Ghost Investigation visited the old Fort Douglas Hospital in Salt Lake City to search for evidence of ghostly residents. They were hoping to capture some haunting paranormal photos and were able to snap this image on the third floor of the hospital. This floor served as the hospital's asylum for mentally ill patients when the hospital was still in operation. This could explain why the spirit in the image appears to have its arms crossed across its chest. It's most likely wearing a straight jacket. The fact that the spirit is manifesting wearing such a device could indicate that it's a tortured soul that received less than stellar treatment at the facility during life. Either way, its eerie appearance in the shadows of the hospital is certainly chilling. Family dinners are not usually occasions for paranormal photos. When this family snapped a photo while seated around the dinner table, they had no idea they were sharing the table with an uninvited guest. In the foreground of the photo, we can see three family members seated around a small dinner table. The chair closest to the camera is clearly empty. However, just behind the diners, there's a large window where we can see a reflection of the dinner table. In the reflection, the fourth chair is not empty. Instead, a terrifying figure with a pale face and dark hair is seated at the table. The family has no idea who the spirit could be but its appearance is certainly terrifying. It shouldn't be surprising that cemeteries are another common spot for ghost hunters to capture paranormal photos. Graveyards are among the most haunted places on the planet. It seems that even in death, some spirits maintain an attachment to their earthly remains, choosing to linger close to the spots where their bodies rest. When the couple who snapped this photo went to their local graveyard with their cameras, they weren't expecting to return home with any paranormal photos. They went to the cemetery merely intending to practice taking photos in the dim twilight. However, when they returned home to review their photos, they were surprised to spot a mysterious figure lurking in the background. The apparition appears to be leaning casually against a tree on the other side of a group of tombstones. The couple who took the photo were unsure if anyone else was around when they took the photo, but a dark graveyard would be an unusual place for a nighttime stroll. Unless, of course, you're a ghost. Claire Cowell, a paranormal investigator, visited 30 East Drive in Pontefract, West Yorkshire, hoping to capture paranormal photos demonstrating the hauntings in the house. This particular home is known as one of the most haunted houses in the United Kingdom. In fact, this particular house is believed to be the haunting ground for the most violent poltergeist in the UK, and it's this spirit that Cow believes she's captured on film. The Black Monk of Pontefract terrorised a family who lived in the home. Members of the family were regularly slapped and shoved and experienced other paranormal activity. Several people saw the apparition that they believe was responsible a monk in flowing black robes. Researchers discovered that there used to be a monastery nearby and that one monk was hanged there for heinous crimes. Many believe that this man of the cloth could very well be the black monk. In Cal's photo, there appears to be an arm clad in dark flowing sleeves reaching into the frame. There also appears to be a black mist emanating from the figure. This is consistent with other accounts of Pontefract's most infamous spirit.
With the advent of camera phones, it's never been easier for amateur ghost hunters to capture unusual photos when they encounter creepy apparitions. In many cases, people aren't even looking for ghosts when they pull out their phones and capture evidence of a nearby haunting. In the case of this photo, an employee at an assisted living facility saw something strange and quickly took a photo as evidence. Facilities such as Kifthaven Assisted Living in Flint, Michigan are no strangers to death. In places meant to care for elderly people in their final days, losing patience is to be expected. However, spotting a semi-transparent figure in a wheelchair is probably not part of a normal day of work. The employee who took the photo stated that she saw the ghost, which appears to be a man in a white shirt, while working in the facility's basement. She was startled by the apparition and quickly captured the photo. The worker was unable to explain what she saw, but the spirit is most likely that of a former resident who still lingers in the place where he spent his last days. The loss of a young child is always a tragedy. This makes photos depicting the spirits of children even more eerie than those taken of the spirits of adults. This particular photo was taken in a cemetery near the burial plot of a family who lost a child, and may show the child's spirit lingering near the gravesite. The photo, taken in a graveyard in California, shows mysterious beams of light shining down on one of the graves. If you look closely at the light, there appears to be the figure of a young girl standing near one of the graves. Many believe that the photo depicts the spirit of the child buried nearby, and that the light shining down suggests a light from heaven, allowing her spirit to appear on the earthly plane. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a terrifying photo taken in a cemetery, Remember to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified about all our latest videos. Paranormal photos don't have to contain the entire ghost to be terrifying. In this case, just one hand is enough to create a truly frightening photo. In this image, we see a man and a boy posing for a photo in a cemetery. On first glance, there doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary in the photo. However, a closer look shows an unexplained hand tightly gripping the man's shoulder. There's clearly no one else in the photo besides the man and the boy, so where could this ghostly hand have come from? The fingers of the hand appear to be digging into the man's shoulder, so he most likely would have felt the hand if another person had walked by and decided to pop into the photo. Like many of the spirits that appear in graveyards, the identity of this apparition remains a mystery. If you want more scary photos just like this, we have an entire playlist embedded there full of creepy goodness. Leave us a comment down below letting us know which one of these photos spooked you the most. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time. 